He may no longer be a member of the Assembly, but one political big hitter turned out to be the talk of Stormont today. The Sinn Féin President Gerry Adams has been coming under pressure because of his alleged past. And today in the chamber, the Deputy First Minister had to defend his party colleague. Martin McGuinness was answering a question from the DUP's Mervyn Storey. I think that uh, the issue around uh, the terrible circumstances of uh, child abuse have been well articulated and well aired in the course of recent times. And Gerry Adams has made uh, public uh, his position in relation to the role that he played, given that this was first reported to both the social services and to the RUC in 1987. And I do believe there is a huge responsibility on everybody within society, without exception, that whatever information they have in regard to uh, situations of uh, child abuse has to be brought forward uh, to the proper authorities. And uh, over the course of, I think, many years now, many organisations, I think, have learned a lot from what have been quite scandalous cases that have been thrown up in the course of uh, uh, the last 10, 15 years. Does the Deputy First Minister then, uh, following on from his logic when he called for the Cardinal to resign, uh, given the allegations in relation to uh, child abuse within the Roman Catholic Church, uh, does he now believe that it is time for his party president to resign and to ensure that there is transparency and there is openness and consistency in regards to the approach of what is a heinous and an evil crime, and that is abuse of children? I don't believe that there's any similarity whatsoever between the case of the Cardinal and Gerry Adams. Uh, in the case of the Cardinal, a child was sworn to secrecy. In Gerry Adams's case, Gerry Adams was fully in support of his niece, travelled to Bunkrana, confronted his brother, and supported his niece and her mother when she reported the abuse to the social services and to the RUC. I think the other thing that's missed in all of it is that you, know, you can clearly see that sometimes in situations like this, people like to take political advantage without recognising, for example, the trauma that the Gerry Adams' family went through as a result of the abuse uh, that was inflicted on them by their father. And in many ways, that entire family are victims, including Gerry Adams. And I think people need to understand that, and they need to place themselves, place themselves in that situation where, quite clearly, Something was happening within that family which was terribly, terribly wrong. So I think that the two situations in regard to the Cardinal and Gerry Adams are not the same. And our political correspondent Gareth Gordon is with me now to discuss this further. Gareth, uh, Martin McGuinness mounting a pretty stout defence of his uh, party president there. But will that be enough to silence Mr Adams' critics, do you think? Well, the, the short answer to that, Mark, is uh, no, it won't. I mean, Martin McGuinness, uh, he will have been expecting this question to be asked of him at some point because of what he said about Cardinal uh, Sean Brady last year. In a way, it's surprising that no one has got asking it of him uh, before today. Uh, to recap, uh, following a BBC documentary last year in which uh, Cardinal Brady was accused of failing uh, to act after allegations that a 14-year-old boy had been uh, sexually abused by the paedophile priest, uh, Father Brendan Smith, uh, Mr McGuinness was asked what he thought and he said that the Cardinal should do the right thing, uh, clearly meaning that he should resign. So what uh, a lot of people are asking is the difference between Cardinal Brady uh, failing to act and uh, the uh, Sinn Féin President uh, Gerry Adams allegedly failing to act following similar allegations made uh, against his, his brother Liam. Now, for reasons that he outlined in that clip there, uh, Martin McGuinness says the two cases are not the same, they're, they're very different. Uh, but others will disagree and I suspect that as far as uh, Gerry Adams is concerned, this matter is a long way from being at an end. And sure enough, um, Gareth, the SDLP has been pretty quick to pick up on Mr McGuinness's remarks. Uh, Mr McGuinness had uh, barely sat down when Alex Atwood, uh, the West Belfast uh, SDLP MLA, had a statement out saying that uh, Gerry Adams, uh, Sinn Féin and the Republican movement as a whole had a growing number of questions to answer, uh, claiming that and he claimed that Mr McGuinness's defence of Gerry Adams was an example of uh, double standards, given what he has previously said 
about the Catholic Church. And uh, Alex Adman also claimed that the same people who had made uh, so much uh, uh, about the, the Catholic Church's involvement last year, uh, Sinn Féin, were now saying and doing little about allegations of abuse of children by Republicans. And of course, um, Jerry Adams was already in the news today because of another episode from the past which simply refuses to go away. Absolutely. And Jerry Adams all over the news today because of the, the issue of the disappeared and new allegations uh, that he ordered the murder of one of those who have become known as the disappeared and that's Jean McConville. Now you'd have to be on Mars not to know that the, a documentary which aired tonight on both RTE and the BBC uh, Mr uh, Adams played a, a starring role, a central role as it were and he once again denied the allegations that he was involved or ordered the killing of, of Jean McConville. But of course uh, no place political leader or no political party indeed wants its leader to be on the defensive just as much as Jerry Adams has been uh, over these past uh, weeks and months over, over these issues, both these issues. Um, and I think the question that we don't yet have an answer to is what damage this is doing both to Jerry Adams and to Sinn Féin, particularly in the South. Okay. Uh,